This is what you call good customers. One. It's me, it's Johnny Boy. No, seriously, just taking five uh, on this project now, this porcelain project here in Newport Gwent. Um, look, I want to do a big shout out for uh, the Corker guys down at Hannah You can go to their website, which is www.corker.co.uk, www or you can give them a call on 01892 833 I'll do that again. 01982 833 uh, Ollie and the guys down there absolutely value their customer base so give them a call if you're looking for anything landscaping so we're getting to a point where we've got to build a pillar over here and uh, so we've got to bring that wall into the pillar but the pillar needs to be built first um, a little cut to be done there there's another little cut that has to be done there can see all the way around that nice little gap so we put some pebbles in so when the water falls off the edge it goes straight down and that comes around lovely on there beautiful let's make a couple of here that's all right a little gap going around there following the shape of the wall we've got to put a black piece slate in there and then we've got to put one in here I need my glasses. Um, honest, I think it's just this, this, this patio. When you're choosing your, uh, your, your porcelain, think about um, what colour you're going to have. Uh, the thing is about the dark porcelain, if you had a black one, it's going to hold the heat quite a bit and porcelain does tend to get hot. There you are, there's the, the three mil gap. This will be the first time I've tried the three mil gap, but I think it's just going to be fine. This is what happens sometimes when you get the the spaces crack off so we've got to get that out just love hearing the sparrows here i can see some through there i don't want to disturb them but unfortunately this is a pyrocanthal head and, and it offers some protection to these sparrows but you can see the little holes yeah there's a little bird just in there now what happens is the sparrow walks come in and uh, that's where the holes are, that's where they're diving through to get the this little sparrows now. Needs to wake up. I don't we, very old, <laughs> no, no, we we got to show that we're making, we're taking safety precautions, <laughs> and we're going to change the lead. That's what we're going to we're going to change the unit. That's what we're doing. But we're making sure. Yeah, Nothing wrong with that. We don't get electrical in the process. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, we cut in the, uh, the coping stones yesterday. Got a bell on today. They're looking good. Also, we started the the block work for our terraline wall with stone pillars. Gone off nicely. Morning. Morning. What have you bought me this morning? Bacon and sausage bab. Yeah, do you know these vlogs aren't all about the building and the how to you know that, didn't you? No, it's about how to get the builders to build and that. Yeah, and how, <laughs> how to keep them happy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Are you happy this morning? Yeah, I'm happy, it's stopped raining. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get the awning out today? Yeah, because we were caught out yesterday, weren't we? Yeah. And we'll probably, if we don't, we'll get caught out today. And we, we need to, don't we? <clears throat> yeah, I think it rains here for a bit. That's why these logs are good, because we can just sort of structure and go through what we need to do. Mm. But uh, what do you reckon of the patio? Yeah, it's looking awesome, isn't it? It's yeah. really good. I was sitting in the van there looking at it, this class. Mm, it's nice to be part of it, isn't it? Like You, you see how the, the contrasting edge of the coping stone, I know we got to bed the other ones on, but look how... How it brings it together, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Contrast. Good design principle. That's it. Have you yeah. stopped looking at tools now? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean me. <laughs> no, I was in the van actually waiting on you again. And Go on, continue. Part uh, two. Continue. What, what was that? You, you were waiting in the van waiting for me again? Yeah, again. Yeah? Uh, just waiting for a good, what, like, normally half hour usually, isn't it? Shh. <laughs>
Roy, uh, we've yes, got man. the we went and collected the the stone yesterday. Do you know? I'll be honest with you. I always thought it was called blue lilas, right? But it's not. It's blue lias. Blue lias. Yeah, blue lias, and it's got a, a, a bit of a yellow in it. You know, yeah. so it's a pennant, I believe. But you can see it's like the bluey part. But there is like this aureus colour and I did wash one off last night to have a look and it looks absolutely uh, stunning but this is like four to six inch cropped stone so really the strength is is basically the width where you get the strength but sometimes you do have to lay it flat but it's like that flat bit there is still four to five inches wide isn't it oh yeah so uh Roy uh, what's the um what, what we got a name for you used to have a name in the military for a what T oh Kettle Commander. Kettle Commander. That's right, him. Okay, okay. Who? That's, that's him. him. Who's him? That's Ryan. Ryan, that's Junior. Junior? Yeah. Oh. Kettle Commander. Well, coffee. Coffee. Gracias. Do all right. That's how it cleans up. Yeah, it's lovely. What do you think? Yeah. So, in the rest of the, 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 the bags, if you hold that now, just to say, right, get this out. If you look at. This is so. This is what they call quarry fresh. It or it comes straight at the ground. Look at that. So it's dirty. Yeah. But that. All right. And then we got to clean off. You can't start using it like that. We got either got to pressure wash it or leave it in the rain for a while. Uh, it's going to be a while before we use it. But you can see how beautiful that looks, doesn't it? And yeah, obviously, what you can actually do the end grain. Then you, you can have that effect as well, or you can have that that effect like that. So you've got a bit of a bit of a mix coming up. I think the important thing to the important thing to look at is if we use jumpers you know so you have the bigger stone that takes you up a bit faster yeah. then you do the infill and then stagger it so the jumper then would go on the other side and uh, thinking out how you're going to build the corners like you know so for some of those guys you, you know when I was, I was at Chelsea last year the dry stone wallers from Yorkshire were just absolutely amazing and they don't like using cement um, because they see the cement as the devil's cream it's a funny word isn't it um, yeah I suppose it is in, in one respect because it's got all that uh, cement in it, isn't it? And it's sort of produced what, it, what the, the, you know, the, the, the impact on the earth, what it, what it has to produce all that cement is horrendous, really, isn't it? Like, you know, so if you can get away with it and reduce the cement, which is good, but I don't think we'll be able to do it with this. Great. The action shot. A bit like Tom Cruise. <laughs> hey, you US. Was, Tom Cruise, um, how old do you say he was? I think he just turned 61. Looking good, isn't he? Uh, since I know he's got all that money, you know, but I suppose if you compared me to a TV star, I'm a bit more like Caleb out on the farm, I suppose. <laughs> Come and have a look. An older version of Caleb. <laughs> yeah. Come and have a look. So, look, right, um, you can see the, we've spoke about this, but we've got that tread, the, the coping stone all the way around there. It's a contrast picture frame on the end there. And we've got that ready to map uh, down. And uh, somebody said the other day, why don't I just use the slurry as, as I go? But I was just happy with the map. I just think that it works and everybody's entitled to their opinion and that's absolutely fine. So anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I, what I do is I, I bed it on mortar. I, I slurry the mortar to the wall. And in a way, it does make sense what that gentleman says, like, you know, about why don't I slurry the, um, why don't I slurry the, the unit onto the mortar? But the reason I don't do that is because I feel that the slurry is probably a little bit more thick and unstable when you're using it initially. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's a little yeah. bit more thicker. It's not like, it's not when I put the slurry on, I put quite a bit on, you see, and I don't want those units to wobble, you see. I just don't want to do that. But what you'll find is we've taken that within four mil, all right? We've taken them back off the, the, the bedding mortar and now we're going to um, map I am on, and it's just a thin bed. They won't, they won't move once they're in place. They won't wobble around. I think sometimes, I don't know, we may be right, but anyway, that's it. So come and have a look. So this is where we are now. Um, we've got this one in along here. We've got this picture frame going in along here. If you look uh, right, just show our viewers. We showed it before. We've got a couple of cuts over there, but we've got this cut all the way around on here. Okay. And the reason for this cut along here is that when the water comes over here, it's not all that area of water is not going onto the pavement. It's taking it straight into the ground and taking it away. Yeah. Um, and you've got to remember is that Lemix has a filtration rate, so the water 
will go through. So the filtration weight is uh, how the substrate copes with the water and it'll cope with that quite adequately. Uh, whereas with the porcelain, it'll just sit on the top and it, it just stirs, you get a lot of water tension. So we've got the cut going around there. You got those, that cut yesterday. Look, that's a great cut that you've put in there. Oh, don't stand on the edge. Um, you can put that cut in there yesterday and you've got that little cut ready to go over there. So that's looking good. We've got to clean the cement out on that side. And of course, over here, we've got to explode. that down pipe's going to go through the coping stone. Okay, but underneath there, we've covered it up. We've got a little pot we're going to have to move to one side. So, uh, and I like your idea, right? When um, our client here was thinking about putting a pole in the ground, a stainless steel pole, to stop the doors hitting the back and the handles hitting the glass. Uh, and you suggested uh, to find something online, and he found these, didn't he? Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, not your fault for the suggestion. Uh, he drilled that one in a little bit higher. And, yeah, uh, just there, uh, he, he cut the uh, bottom of the window with yeah, a screw, yeah. didn't he? It, that, that looks like those frosted glass. You've seen the glass toilets they've got abroad and the glass cubes. You go in them, as soon as you shut the door, it frosts nah, off and you can just I've never go. Seen in. That. Have you seen it? No. And then when the doors open, you can see what's inside. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Anyway, another story. So, <coughs> got to get that in there. Um, just have a look, right, from here, you know, you can see. Just, just from this side, just have a look at them. You can see just a beautiful cutting all the way along there. We've cut all those individually and we'll probably just give them a trim again yeah. once they're, they're bedded in place. To that, that one is cut right. They're just, uh, they're just pushed yeah, tight there, aren't just they? Yeah, space. It's just yeah, space. Yeah, it, it will be sitting right. Yeah, and, and again, we've got a couple of cuts over there. Um, you can see just along here. I don't know if that one's... No, it's not loose now. That one's back in. That's the trouble about the small ones. Yeah. Like that, they do come loose. So as you can see, this now is merging into the pillar. So the pillar's gonna be over here, okay? We've got four pillars, and so what we've done, the four pillars, we've measured the overall distance of the wall, haven't we? Yeah. Taken the end, the width of the end pillars off, and then divided the three equal spaces, and it was like three meters, 100, I think it, it is. Mark the center, and then we, we'll mark back then for the pillar. Uh, the only thing, of course, We've got to cut back on the pillar on this side. We know, we know that underneath here, all right, there is a concrete pad stone. A lot of people would have said, do the wall first, okay? That's what they would have said. Um, but for me, what we're able to do with this, we're able to unfold the patio. Our clients can actually walk out here and actually enjoy this, so we haven't grouted it. Uh, once, once they're set in place, but they actually can go on this bit, they can actually enjoy this in, in, the, in, in the meantime, okay? And then the wall can, can, it can just ongo. The beauty of using the porcelain, if you're careful, it doesn't really stain. So we're coming out of the ground, we can sheet all this up when we're building, and we're gonna have the stone pillars. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna terrelene the wall because the client wants it like his conservatory. So that's where that design principle of unity and cohesiveness comes together. You don't want it standing out like a sore thumb. I think if you add all stone, it wouldn't look right completely. But when you look at the ice, there is a little bit of stone on the front. Um, but then it's a bit of a mix and match here. But we want to sort of try and bring it together. As it's come back, you see it's got a bit of a, a more of a, a modern look to it, isn't it? Yeah. But sort of still keeping that the stone, the traditional part yeah. as well. Because like, if you look at it, you've got like, that's what they used to do back in, in, the, in the 80s. They'd have like this beam effect. So it looked like beams, you know. Um, there you go. Um, anyway, that's it. We've got to get the stone out. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the awning up today because it's going to be raining for the next few days, isn't it? Apparently so. Yeah, so I think, Roy, what we're going to do, first thing first, get the foundation done. Get the awning up. Get that foundation done. There is some concrete down there, but we've just got to make it a little bit bigger. I think what we should do, Roy, is probably put some steel in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, put some steel in. So we've got three, two to do, the two ends. And then obviously we've got to come back on the out, go back on the outside where the pillars are and make sure that it is sitting on a foundation though we put quite a wide foundation in, didn't we? Yeah, it is quite wide. I think we yeah. might just catch it in places like on this. Well, that's it. Let's crack on.
There we are. Uh, wall coming along, pillars coming up. Got the pillar on this side. Uh, we started the third one over there. We've got the fourth one to do. So I don't know. It's just if we get done tomorrow with the pillars or Friday, so be it. But there's our first pillars in the blue liars. Not bad. Well, I haven't shown you much in the last couple of days it's because we've just been so busy, but we've got the, the first pillar more or less up in this blue layer stone. And then we're getting the second one up. We're tying it into the wall. Um, you can see where we've tied in there. And we've got wall ties in as well as we go, tying it all together. We'll fill in some of the inside with concrete as well. So, but we've got another, well, another two more after this one, but it's coming on. That's the main thing, it's coming on. What are you doing? I look shorter, don't I? You are shorter. <laughs> anyway, we're, um, we're, we're plowing on, aren't we? Getting there, yeah. Yeah, we haven't done much video work this week, no. simply because, why? Well, you just have to get on with sometimes, yeah, don't you? Yeah, we do. And I think that, we can't keep bringing everything and you can't keep showing videos of how to shovel or how to lay a brick. You can't keep doing that, can you? Can, no. Can you keep doing that on a video? Well, not if you want to progress, I suppose, no, because you, you'd never get it done, would you? No. Oh. Just going over a few things. Um, I was saying it's good that uh, as a channel we can help people, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're definitely helping people and I think that we get a lot of messages from people through social media uh, want, wanting some advice and um, it's not a big problem is it to just put your phone on speaker and and still work while you talk to them isn't it oh yeah yeah that's fine isn't it yeah as long as you can multitask a lot of people can't but no yeah but if you can if you can do it then yeah there's nothing nothing wrong with that at all no absolutely uh, the, look the other thing i was going to say uh, to you um and try and sort of get on with this because this is the point of this video now was um do you think, um, and I, I've addressed this problem a few times, do you think that uh, suppliers and manufacturers sort of value us as contractors? No. No? No. So I'm talking about the likes of Juicens, the multinationals, Travis, Keyline, Salcos, those? No. 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 I think the, the only ones that have value you is like little independent ones. Why is that? Well, they're big big corporations aren't they that you know it's not it's not a personal thing i don't think you know they, they they get in business all over the country and you know if they lose one trader they, pro they probably don't really care you know do you think that the, the time when they're gonna um i'm just gonna say so can you put some more water in please bud do you see so not it's a site it's, it's ongoing yeah um i just don't think that they actually value the, the the their end user and i think there are signs now that there are some companies that are valuing end users look i've gone on about this quite a bit but i've been talking to ryan about it and uh right with all the the small independents not just like what we call the the satellite offices the ones that are selling product online they're probably making just an in just as just as an impact online because they're creating an image of as big as any of these multinationals but also offering customer service aren't they yeah and a lot of them are cheaper too yeah they are yeah i suppose that the independents and the satellite offices that they're online they haven't got the overheads like some of these other ones and um, like the multinationals like but you've got to value your customer haven't you absolutely well if you want to keep them you do yeah 
So look, we're going to be touching upon this conversation uh, again. We're going to continue with it at some point, but we've got a lot to do. Hey, I don't know about you. I don't mind the heat, but it's been a bit of a struggle for me this week. And you're from Northern Ireland. And I hear it. <laughs> I take the rain, <laughs> the cold weather any day. Any day. Any day. I hate the, the heat. Yeah. Hate That's why we're under the umbrella at the moment, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah, under the shade. Yeah. Um, look, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've, we've tried to cram as much as we can in, in all these videos. And uh, again, if there's anything that you want us to show you what we're doing, or all we can do is show you the things we're doing, the projects, what what's happening. I'd like to do a lot more planting, a lot more woodwork. Um, what I was going to say to you, I think... I think the hardwood is going to start coming back, the hardwood decking systems. Yeah, well, I'm a big fan of the, the hardwoods. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I pre always prefer natural over, like, uh, composite or something like that. You know, it really really sets it up, as long as you maintain it. And there are good, there are some good composites. There no, are. there's brilliant ones. I mean, the company that I work for used brilliant composites, but for me, it's, ju it's just my personal preference. I always prefer wood. Yeah. No, but the, with the wood, you have to maintain it, don't you? composite it's you know you can leave it out and that's it you don't have to maintain it and i think that's the that's the selling point isn't it i think you're talking a lot more now because you know that i'm holding this camera up and i'm starting <laughs> to shake um look listen if you've enjoyed this video get, uh, just give it a, a like and uh, smash the notification button and uh, don't forget to subscribe we'll be uh, back next week right have a great weekend and uh, it's a goodbye from him and it's a goodbye from me see you soon